our hands have got magic in them. Do you know what kind of magic? They can make anything that you want. Yeah, the, our hands help us to do so many work. And they can help us to draw also, to eat food also, and so many other things. And whatever we want, our hands will help us make that. So do you know that today our hands will help us make birds and animals? Isn't that interesting? So you know, uh, would you want to know how to make uh, birds and animals using our hands? Okay, so now I will be moving my screen. But before that, tell me how many legs does an animal have? Four legs, right? And uh, does the animal also have tail? Yes, it does have one tail. Do we have tail? No, we don't have a tail. But animals do have a tail. So four legs and one tail. How many does it make? Five, right? And how many fingers do we have? Five. So it's going to be four and one five. And this is how our hand will help us make the animals. Is it, does it sound interesting? Cool. So let us uh, start painting quickly and have lots of fun. Make sure that your uh, hands are going to get very messy, but it is going to be fun. So it's okay. Keep a rough cloth or a tissue paper with you so you can keep wiping your hands whenever required. And uh, you will need a few more things that I'm going to show you. But don't uh, be worried if your hands get dirty. Okay, you can wash your hands at the end of the session. In between, you can always keep on wiping them to keep them clean so that your colors don't mix. All right. And so now moving my screen to my uh, paper. I hope you all can see. Yeah, you can see my paper. So what all do you need for today's painting? You need a paper, you need lots of papers. You need a plate, okay? You can keep a steel plate with you or you can also take disposable plates, okay? Then you will need some paints. So keep all your colors handy. We will keep on telling you which colors to take. Okay, then you will need paint brush of different sizes. Okay, so you will need thick and thin paint brush. You can also take your sketch pens ready. Keep your sketch pens ready. Okay, you will need a rough cloth and some tissue papers. Okay, and you will also need water to mix with your paint. Okay, I hope all the materials are clear. Okay, so get ready to mess your hands with some paints. So let us begin. As the hand prints will take some time to dry, so we will try and make all our hand prints first and then make animals and birds out of them. Okay? So now let us begin with yellow color. So I want all of you to first take your plate. I have taken a plate in which my hand can fit. Okay, so your plate should be that big so that your hand can fit in there. Okay, your hand should be easily fitting inside the plate. Now I am taking yellow color. Okay, so everybody take your brush, take yellow color and take it out on the plate. Take good amount of color because we have to take our whole hand print. Sorry. 
and now we will make some water here in the paint that we have taken Okay, so you can add more water. Then mix your paint nicely with water. Spread it so that your entire hand can be painted with this paint. Okay. Prepare your color like this on the plate. Okay, have you all prepared your color? Now, once your color is prepared, you will take your left hand. Take your left hand. Take your left hand and dip your hand in the paint. Nicely in the paint so that the whole of your hand is covered with paint. Okay? If there is some space left without paint, dip it again so that Every part of your hand is covered in paint. All right. Now, after you have done this, now you will take your paper, put it vertically. Put the paper vertically and now spread your fingers. Okay? Spread your fingers. Your fingers should not be like this. Spread your fingers. Turn around your hand and make a nice impression of your hand on the paper. And lift it. Okay? You can wipe your hand with the rough cloth that you have or the tissue paper once you have done the print. Now you can take your brush, take the same paint and you can color inside wherever there is white color that you can see, okay? You can fill all the blank spaces with the paint using a paint brush. Like this, complete it with a paint brush and give a full hand look. Okay, now till this one is dry, let us quickly take another sheet of paper. Let's take another sheet of paper. We can use the same color. The yellow color only. So you can make use of your left hand again and put it on the plate wherever you have taken the paint. Press it nicely so that your hand is covered entirely with the paint. Just check once if every part of your hand has paint. If not, then press again on the plate to get color there. Okay. Now my entire hand has got the paint here. Now again spread out your fingers. Don't keep your fingers closed. Spread them out. And now turn around your hand and take a print. 
take a hand print and lift your hand. Okay, now you can wipe your hand with your rough cloth. Wipe your hand with the rough cloth. Again, you can take your paint brush and fill in all the white gaps that you can see. Fill in all the white gaps using your paint brush. Okay, so we have made two hand prints of yellow color. All right, now let these hand prints dry nicely. Okay, now If you are using the same plate, you can wipe it with a tissue paper. Wipe it well with a tissue paper so that you get a clean plate. All right, there's no paint on my plate now. Now the next color that we are going to take is blue. Okay, so the next shade that I'm taking is blue color, light blue preferably. So take your paint brush. I have taken light blue color here. Mix it nicely with water. Okay. Mix it with water and spread the paint on your plate. Now, once you are done with this, Take another sheet of paper. Now take your left hand again. Your hand should be clean. Hand should be clean. Put it on the plate where you have taken blue color. Press your hand with the paint everywhere so that all the parts of your hand have the paint on it nicely. Okay, see, there's paint on all the parts of my palm. So now let us spread our fingers, turn around our hand and put it on the paper to make the handprint. Press it nicely so that we get a nice handprint. Okay, now wipe your hand. Wipe your hand and now you can take the paint brush and fill in all the white space. Fill in all the white spaces.
Okay, so like this, you can fill all the white spaces here. Okay, I hope everybody has done. Now let, the, let us put this on side to dry. Now, let's take one more sheet. Let us take one more sheet. You can wipe this plate. Wipe the plate with a tissue. Now we are going to make a light brown color. So firstly take white on your plate because white is the lightest, uh, lightest color. So let us not mix it with any other paint to spoil it. So we will take white color first on our plate. And now let us mix little brown here. Okay. Can you guess with the colors that we are making, which animal would it be? Yeah, any guesses? Keep on guessing. Okay, so we have made this light brown color. Now again, take a hand print. Put your hand on the color. Press it nicely so that the paint gets everywhere on the palm, on the fingers, everywhere. Okay, so you can see I have this light brown color on my hand now. Now again, the same process. Let us spread out our fingers, turn around our hand and make a handprint on the paper by pressing our hand well so that the color is nicely painted on the paper. Now lift your hand. Don't worry if there's a white space. Firstly, wipe your hand with a rough cloth or a tissue paper. Now you take your brush. Take the paint and fill in all the white spaces. Fill in all the white spaces. All right, so like this, you have to make this handprint with your light brown color. All right. Now let us start making our animals. So since we have just finished painting this, let us start with the light brown color first. All right. So now what I want you to do is let us keep all the other papers on one side for now and keep only the light brown shade paper. Okay, now I want you to turn this paper around. 
like this. Turn around your paper. All right. And now take the same color that we used to make the hand print. Since it must be wet, you can easily take that color again in the brush. Okay. Now, on this part, the lower part of the palm or the upper part here, we will start from the thumb line and take our brush a little up to make a mountain like structure. Okay, let us make a mountain type of a structure here. See, it is a little triangular on the top. Looks like a mountain, isn't it? Okay, so make this kind of a mountain on the top of your hand. Done. Now with the same paint, let us make alphabet V. So we already have one hand of V. Now let us take this up and make the other hand. So we have made the alphabet V and you have to take it up to the height of this mountain. Okay. So like this, make the V. Now, if you have a thin brush, then take the same paint in a thin brush. And now, here on this hand of V that we just made, let us make a circle. We have made a circle. And from this side of the circle, let us make a triangle with a flat top. Like this. And now at the back, let us make a thin tail coming out from the back. Now here you can also make an ear. Okay, are you all able to guess what animal is this? Yes, yes, correct. What you are guessing is right. This is a camel. Okay. So now, once this is dry, you take your black sketch pen or a black marker. Okay, now this portion is wet. So let us do the legs first. So just make two lines with black on the lowermost portion of the leg like this. Done. 
Now you all know how to write the letter W. So let us write W here. W like this. W like this. W like this. And here also a W. Now let us come to the face. So we will make one eye here. So just make a dot. And give a line for the mouth. Okay, so we have finished making our camel. Now let us put this aside to dry and take our handprint with yellow. Take the handprint with yellow color. Now let us turn this one also upside down. Okay, so we have turned our handprint upside down. Now you take the same yellow color that we had taken previously to hand print this. Take it in a thin brush. So now from this end, from the little finger end, from this end we will take a line up, make it double and color it inside with yellow. Done. Now let us make a big circle here. At the top of this line, let us make a big circle here. And make the base flat. Now the circle we have to extend further to make a rectangle. All right. And now coming to the tail, let us make it a little thick from the bottom and just leave it like that. The face end should be rounded.
Okay, now we are going to take brown color. Take brown color. What animal does it look like? Are you able to guess? Okay, let us put some brown patches here. Maybe then you will be able to guess. Any shape that you like, circle, square, any size, you can put the patches here on the body. On the neck, on the leg. Some small, some big. Even on the face, we will make these. Oh yes, see, now you are guessing it. It is a giraffe. Okay, so like this, make different size patches all around his body, legs, neck and face. Let us make his ears on top. You know the giraffe also has horns. So let us make a straight line. And we will make a dot on the top of this straight line. So take a thin brush, make a straight line and make a dot, a big dot to show the horn. Now on this part of the tail, the bigger one, let us make some hair like this. Okay. Now on the neck also, we will make some hair. Let us make some small strokes like this on the neck to show hair. You can make the neck even longer if you have more space on your paper. And now on the bottom of the legs, let us again make the letter W. W. W again. W again. And you are also W. All right. Now finally, let us take our black sketch pen. and make the eyes on the face. Just a big black dot. If you want, you can also make the mouth like this. If you want, you can give an outline at some places, not everywhere. Give a finished look to your giraffe. Okay. It's looking so pretty, yeah? 
I hope everybody is making the giraffe like this and making it look very pretty. It's fun to make animals with handprints, isn't it? Okay, now let us quickly go on to our next handprint. Let's take our yellow handprint again. Okay, now this one, let us make it a little simple. Now, what are we going to do is, we will be taking red color and our thinnest brush, a very, very thin brush. You can also do this with a red sketch pen if you have. Okay, a red sketch pen if you feel it will be easier to do with that. Then use your red sketch pen. Okay. So now on the thumb, on the thumb, make two lines like this. And now make number like curly lines like this, which looks like number three. Just make curly lines like this and color the whole thing with red. Now let us come to the opposite side of the thumb. Bring out two lines like this as if you are making a triangle. But join it with a line, a small line here. Don't make a peak of the triangle, just make a small line. And now fill this with red color. Okay, now let us take our black sketch pen. Take your black sketch pen and make one dot to show the eye. What does it look like? A hen? Yes. And now let us make two lines here. And make an inverted V. Make an inverted V. All right, so we are done with this one as well. And now our last handprint is there, which is the blue one. So let us take our blue handprint. Now here you can take dark blue color, green color, if you have green sketch pen you can take that, yellow color, a 
Okay, so firstly we will take dark blue color and our thinnest brush. Now on every finger we are going to make four balls with our dark blue color. So make four four balls. One. You, if your finger is longer, you can make five also, no problem. Four. Okay. Again, let us make some big, big dots with blue color. One, two. Three and four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, make them bigger. It is okay if it covers, uh, touches both the sides of the finger. All right, I hope everybody has done. Now on the thumb, let us first take the same blue color that we have done here in our thin brush. And make a circle on the top. Now we will take this dark blue color that we have take, we have taken for the circles and now we will make a crown. So how do we make the crown? Make a jalebi, a spiral like this and bring it down. Again make a spiral and bring it down. Again, make a spiral and bring it down. Okay, who can guess what is this that we are making here? Yes, that's right. We are making a peacock. Now, let us take our yellow color and your thinnest brush. So take yellow color, dip it in your thinnest brush and now just put a dot in the center of all the blue circles that you have made.
okay now with the same yellow color let us also make the b like this just a triangle and now let us make the leg to bring out two straight lines from the bottom make an inverted v okay that's it now let us take our black marker or a black sketch pen and make a dot here to show the eyes and now take your green sketch pen and just make a long line a short line a long line a short line just like how we make for sun the rays that we make coming out of the sun a one big and one small just like that one big one small one big one small these are the peacock feathers that we are making here One big, one small. One big, one small. One big, one small. Just like that, keep on doing. We need to do this on all the four fingers. Make sure not to spoil it because your paints must be wet. Or you can do this once your paint is dry. Okay. So like this, you have to finish making your peacock. All right. So what all did we make using the handprint? We made a peacock. We made a hen. We made a giraffe, and we made a camel. All right. now you can use your own brains use your own creativity and make more animals you can try making elephant you can try making a lion you can try making a cheetah or a leopard okay you can try making a tortoise there are so many animals and birds you can try making a flamingo okay all you need to work on is the face the legs and the body shape yes because the rest of the body is made out of your hand so you don't need to do anything there so just uh, see look at pictures of these uh, different animals and try making them on your own using your hand all right i hope you all enjoyed the session hope it was interesting to make animals and birds using your hand print I want all of you to try some more and send me pictures of whatever you have painted. Okay? Thank you all for joining the class. Bye bye.